Hi, in today's video, I'm going to showcase how you can take audio files and transcribe them completely free on your system. More and more, there is an audio and video content that is being generated that contains voice. And the library that we are going to use to transcribe is open sourced by a company called OpenAI. They have a solution called Whisper. This is also the product that they use internally, but they have open sourced it for community. And we are going to install this library and test it out on one of the MP3 files. So in order to install that, we need to run this PIP command. So I will copy it here. I will go to the terminal. And before I do anything, I will instantiate my Python environment. And then I will run, paste this command and hit enter. And as you can see, it's it installed the OpenAI Whisper. So if I do whisper dash dash help by clearing up the screen and run it, we see a lot of options that we can use, which includes what device, if you're using CPU or GPU, what model we want to use. By default, it uses the small, which means it uses the model that is smaller in size, but it's still very accurate. It has a lot of options for languages, covers a lot of languages, which is to a surprise, it's a pretty amazing thing considering you can use this for free on your machine and so on and so forth. But before we do that, we need MP3 files. So what I did is I went through LibriVox and uh, all their audiobooks are available in public domain. And this is one of the audiobook that I'm going to install. And I'm also going to put this link in the YouTube description. But the idea is that when you do a right click and do a save link as, it downloads, it opens up the model, but at the end of the day, it, it downloads the file as MP3 on your machine. So I already have it. So let's go ahead and run Whisper on this file. So I will say Whisper and I will give this file as input. And as I hit enter, let's see what model has to do. It fails. And this has been a consistent theme for me. And it says it's file not found FFMPEG. So Whisper depends directly on FFMPEG file or FFMPEG library. And we, I don't have it installed on my machine and you may find similar error on your machine too. So when I searched, FFMPEG is an open source software and they have distributions for different operating systems. Since I am on Mac and I use Homebrew, I can install this using Homebrew command, which is brew install FFmpeg. And as I hit enter, it starts to download FFmpeg files. See, it says it's fetching and it has already installed FFmpeg files. So the idea is that now that FFmpeg file is installed, if I run the whisper command again with the same file, it should run. So I'm going to hit enter and see what happens this time. So it gave me a warning, which is F16 is not supported on CPU, so it's using F332, but it continued and it's saying that it detected the language from the first 30 seconds of the file that we provided. We could also provide dash dash language file to be specific to whisper and uh, language you are expecting. And now it already started transcribing its C. It said, I detected the language English, and it gives one line per paragraph and it tells us the timestamp. So for example, it says in the first nine seconds, the audio talks about this text. So the audio directly converted into text. And then it continues from C ends at 09500 and from here till 13 seconds, 500 milliseconds, it transcribed the audio to this text and it continues this way. Now this file is around 45 minutes and it has only transcribed one minute, 44 seconds. So this will continue and I will let it continue. But the bottom line is that if you have a large file, audio file, and you want to transcribe that locally, and the use case could be that you take this timestamp file using SRT and give it to YouTube uh, as a transcribed file, or you want to analyze an audio or video content, to understand a bit more and you have access to these uh, video files or audio files, you can, uh, you can first transcribe them using Whisper and then you can 
take these text input and take it to your private chat GPT on your local. And if you don't know how we do that, there is a link to the video somewhere in this video um, where you can go back and you can install uh, your own private chat GPT. But then you take an audio file, you convert it into a text file, you take this text file and you give it to your private chat GPT and you can choose which model you want to um, analyze your text with, either with Llama 3 or or any other open model that are available using Olama. And there you go from an audio file all the way to text. And then you can start asking questions from your model to find out highlights from that particular content. So I hope that this was useful. Do give it a try if you like this uh, video and uh, you want to see more of this and you have questions or concerns or new ideas that you would like us to try out. Please let us know and I will continue uh, making these videos for you. All right. Until next time, uh, keep trying, keep practicing and take care of yourself. We'll see you soon.